Okay, so I'm going to do a few videos here showing how to make one of my molds. Um, I'm starting out with a four foot by two foot piece of three quarter inch thick MDF and I'm going to make a few cuts so I'm not going to have the camera running the whole time while I'm making cuts but I'm going to go do that and I'll explain what these molds are all about. It's not just your standard little mold. Um, it does a lot more than that and um, I'll explain more as I go but first I'm just going to cut this board down into four pieces each about one foot by two feet. So I'm going to make three cuts and I'll be back. Okay the cuts are all done and as you can see I've got four pieces here one two and three four and they're each approximately one foot by two feet. Uh, the exact size isn't that critical and they don't line up perfectly and that's that's okay too. All we're going to be concerned about later is one edge. So right now this is going to be the core of the mold and I'm just going to glue two of these together and then glue the other two together and uh, then let them sit for a little while. So I'll just get started by putting some glue on here. And just using an old card to spread this out the best I can. See, there's one lump in there that I want to get rid of. Now we're going to end up cutting most of this away, but we can't worry about that right now. We've got to get it glued up as best we can. I'm a little weak on glue in this corner. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's flip this over and glue them together. And I've just got a bunch of cam clamps here. And this is probably going to slip and slide a little bit, but let's just try to keep it as best we can. I'm not throwing these clamps to super tighten them down just yet. I just want them snug. hasn't done that much slipping. So now I'm tightening them up a little bit more. Thank you. 
is probably way more clamps than we're going to need, but that's okay too. Grab a couple more clamps real quick. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. This looks real good. And I'm going to do this other one. I don't need the camera on for that. And so that's it for, for right now. We're just going to try to get the two cores glued up. And then we'll trace on the pattern that we want and start doing some cutting. So I'll be back in a little bit.